<clears throat> My dearly beloved, we are gathered here together today to celebrate. But, you may say, the dryer is broken and the car is a heap and the house runneth over with crap. And you know what? It's true. And it will always be true. But one other thing is true. That you, Jamie, have you, Chris. And Chris, you, will have Jamie. When baby James came into our lives, your lives, he needed everything. And so rightfully, you turned your focus to him. I put a chart together here showing the Burke family fondness to one another. You may see love and friendliness was at an all-time high here in the 2009 area and then spiked to the basement here when I tried to give his sexy pajamas, or Chris tried to give sexy pajamas. Uh, Ella was born here in this area uh, and then another sharp decline when baby James was born. Um, however, you may notice also it's trending up. <sighs> My friends, you once made room in your hearts for Ella and you found that your capacity for love gets bigger. Your heart grows deeper and you can't imagine not loving her. And unbelievably once again you made room for your little man and saw that there is more writing. There is room for more writing on your heart. And today I invite you to once again make room in your hearts to start a new sentence of writing on your heart, this time for each other. Now I'd like Chris, you, and Jamie, you, to look at one another. Chris, do you vow to remember that fiery young woman you fell in love with, that unquenchable draw you felt towards one another, the draw that had two full-grown adults sleeping in a filthy twin bed? Jamie, do you vow to remember that wild young man you fell in love with? Remember that Chris always has tried to impress you and that he promised to never stop trying. Do you vow to remember that Jamie fell in love with you in your youth, loves you now as a struggling new father, and has pledged to love you still as your children grow into adults? And Jamie, do you vow to remember that Chris fell in love with you as a curly-banged, wild-hearted young woman, loves you now as a struggling young mother, and will love you as your children grow into adults? Chris, do you vow to remember Jamie's smile and how freely she's always given it to you. Jamie, do you vow to remember all the times that Chris refused to give up and has tried to turn bad into good? And do you both vow to remember that life gets hard and that James and Ella need you to be strong? And where there is unity, there is strength. Remember that you, Chris, are Jamie's better half. And Jamie, remember that you are Chris's better half. That there is beauty in being married to someone in love. You are each better for being joined to the other. And so now, I'd like to play our favorite song. No, actually, let's sing. I want to hold on. Um, let's play the other song. I love you, Bubba. <laughs> 